Well, you know, it's interesting because the last show I had here uh, was a piece that was a real breakthrough piece for me of moving off of a perpendicular screen into dimension screen-based work. Um, and this show is a way to not just make animation, but really extend my practice into other forms, more material forms. All the banners are made out of petrochemical materials and the hazmat suits are made out of petrochemical materials and there's a kind of physicality to this work that I really wanted to challenge myself to make. So this is a, a very public space, but it's a space that I feel like I owe some adventure to and it has enough kind of a, a kind of an experimental framework um, and I find Houston an amazing very generous audience art audience like they're art savvy but they're really generous so it's kind of, I, I learned this in 2005 2006 when I did Nicking the Never here that kind of generosity in this art audience really is fantastic to develop new work in because if you bumble it's not that they're going to be forgiving, but that you have a sense that this space, there's an expectation that there's going to be kind of an experiment, a gambit in this space that I'm really interested in taking on. It's much harder to do that in a museum, let's say. And I think you can tend to close down. In the development of this piece, because I'd been here before and I had, I worked in New York uh, on floor plan models for the space. Originally, I was going to do this as kind of a white on white, just almost toxically bright, flat, uh, only the surrounding walls, these banners were not going to be in the middle of a space like this. Um, and the videos were sort of puncturing that in a really, I mean, I still think they do sort of puncture this world, but in a really different way. And as I worked on this, and that was a big change for me to work on a scale model, get off the computer, like make a physical model, really try to engage with imagining what it would be to walk through a space. Um, this solution seems a lot more uh, up in your face and a lot more of this sort of floating world that oddly I hadn't even thought about the Japanese influence in this until I was having a conversation yesterday with somebody about um, the two axes of the way houses are built in Japan out of paper and the screens are very much these long almost Japanese scroll forms um, and Tyvek in its thinner forms looks a lot like rice paper it's sort of really translucent so there's still some of that left in this work that, and that is the homage that this work, I mean, this work owes a lot to these early forms of manga from the, the 19th, uh, 18th century woodblock, uh, amazing woodblock artists like Hokusai.